Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel So yeah, I have a really really important video coming right now So if you're interested, stay tuned, grab your drinks and your popcorn So starting off, maybe I'll just tell you my name, my real name So for all of you who are subscribed to my channel My real name, obviously, my nickname is Nikki, but everyone calls me, yeah, everyone calls me Nikki, my nickname is Nikki, but my real name is Nicole. Yeah. I am 21 years old, so my birthday was the 3rd of April. I was born in 1996. I still don't know where I'm going with that, to be fair. Um, I was working but now I'm not working at the moment but I was working and I I loved it at the time before I started working I gathered up my training and all the training that was given was really helpful but then when I got into the salon work so for starters I worked in I was trained to be a hairdresser so I was a junior hairdresser and then when I got into the salon very tiring completely different altogether, like your meat is skivvy out of and you took advantage of, there's a lot of bitching, like they use you for a lot and then a lot of shit went on with that job so that was my first ever job so I had my first ever job when I was 20 which I know was bad but anyhow um, I didn't want any other job I just wanted to be a hairdresser so when I went into the salon um, I wasn't really getting told much what to do Whereas in my course, where I gathered up my training, I was told quite a lot. It was quite like enough. But then when I went into the salon, it was mainly just me handling things, running for them. You know what I mean? For all the stylists, while they're obviously doing hair, but I was doing their dirty work. But anyhow, I've left that job and I kind of don't know where I'm going. Because obviously I'm pregnant and I can't work at the minute. Well, I can work. I would love a job, but it wouldn't be a job that I would be interested in because I only loved to do interesting. But anyhow, after the baby's born, I'm going to try and move on and get a part time job. So hopefully I'll proceed. So yeah, um, I live in Ireland, so I'm from Ireland, I'm Irish. Um, I'm Catholic, if that makes sense. So I'm not really a religious person, but I am Catholic, if that makes sense. So I don't go to mass or anything like that. Um, but yeah, I'm Catholic. Um, I'm an owner of a vehicle, so obviously I drive. I drive my own car. Um, I have my own insurance, car insurance. Um, I've been driving for about two years now, and this has been my second car. Um, so yeah, I'm looking to, well, hopefully, change cars within this year, I don't really know, but hopefully trying to go to a, like a smaller car because I always have like big engine cars as my dad says, but anyhow I don't really think so, but yeah, I think a smaller car would be much handier to manage. Do I have a full license? No I do not. So throughout this year, well in 2016, that was 2017. I went for my full driving license and I failed a bike four. And yeah, I was so upset, like I cried like a baby. But anyhow, um, yeah, I will definitely go for that again. Hopefully, I'll pass this time. But there's so much going on in my life right now that I just haven't got time to go for it. And how many holidays have I been on? So I've, even though I'm answering these questions, they're actually questions from my own company this right now. So I've been on two holidays. My first ever holiday was with a few of my family members, so two sisters and my brother. And I went to Santa Monica, America. And the holiday was grand, I suppose. Um, we didn't really do much like outings, but the drunken ones were that bomb. So yeah, I really enjoyed them. Loads of memories. 
if you're in San, go and Santa Panza, if you're in there right now looking at this video, head to Manhattan, yeah, we will have some time, because it's great there, I loved it, well I love Manhattan, but Santa Panza, like I haven't got really nothing to look back on, thinking back to Santa Panza, only that we had great nights in Manhattan, it was drunk nights, my second holiday was me and my mum, so I brought my mum on her first holiday, December gone, we went to Tenerife and Tenerife Island. So Tenerife was my all time thing. I love Tenerife. Oh my god, I definitely want to head back there. If you guys are looking for like, um, if you guys are looking for a family resort or a quiet holiday, quiet holiday, quiet, quiet holiday, or if you're your loved one and you're looking to head out abroad, definitely look into Tenerife. Is quite really like reasonable the price also in December but in summertime you will not get it it's sky high like hotels alone will cost you like 1500 in cool no so obviously like if I go back to Tenerife I definitely will be going back in December again so my last month I went in December and I had no problem the weather was amazing um, and I couldn't complain when I went to Tenerife I experienced things that I never thought I ever would I did so many water outings, like, it was amazing, yeah, so if you're scrolling down below, look at some videos, um, they will be really helpful, because there's a few of me in the so yeah, if you um, are interested in what have a look, um, definitely head to the CM Water Park if you're in Tenerife, because it is the shit, oh my god, I've never seen a better water park in all my life. I have five nephews, so I have no nieces, five nephews, um, they're all quite young, the oldest is nearly six I think, or is six, but anyhow, um, I have four sisters, two brothers, and I live in a small town, I wouldn't call it a town, so I live in a place called Shannon. enough I guess. So I only did three years of high school. I left in third year. Good years. Hated school, hated being in a big group of people, being with a big group of people. Um, wasn't my time. So I left in third year after my junior cert results. Never got a leaving cert. I left in junior, in junior cert year after that. So I got my results and I left and then I headed on to like a youth centre. So for those of you who don't know what that is, it's like where it's another thing like for school and obviously like you do work, you do a lot of things, you do out and you are in a smaller group. So you're doing your work with about eight people, maybe So there's year one and year two and you get your feet tag after one year and two years completed. But I had a lot of shit going on back then. I was young, I was foolish, I was stupid, and I left. And then I got back in, so I went back to the bridge, and then I left again. So I never got a leave answer. Yeah, I know. But then I got into the hairdressing world, and I presumed, well, I didn't. I was right. I didn't need a leave insert to where I wanted to go in life. I was fully convinced I was going to go far in the hairdressing. I'm not saying that it's too late and that I won't go back because if I wasn't pregnant or whatever I'd probably be looking into that kind of job still. Just because I had a bad experience with my last one doesn't mean that I'm going to the next. True. So yeah. So that's all I really have to say to you guys. Um, I hope I mentioned enough. I've seen like videos going up and people are saying like 50 facts about me. Like I barely know about myself you know so as I said I have a baby brain at the minute I hope you all enjoyed this video I hope it was really helpful I hope that I can bond more with you guys and you can get you know, to know me more and yeah so I hope 
that you enjoyed the video guys please if you guys felt like I left out any questions that are really important please feel free to comment below on the down bar and I will reply don't worry um, I'm not enough to do with my spare time I guess so yeah thank you all for watching guys stay tuned for some more crazy get to know me more videos and vlogs soon thanks guys have a good day bye